You're the creator of your own reality. Not one of you. It's like the sculptor. You grab this big clump of clay, it's your first time. Ooh, it feels funny in your hands. You slap it down, you say, oh, well, that didn't turn out very well. You don't, ex that's not the way you want it. You want to get your hands in it. You want to, you want to figure it out. You want to watch what's going on with it, you see. It, it, it's life experience. You came for the experience of life, not for the results of life. Can you hear the difference? You didn't come for the, for the bullet points. You came for all of it. And so there isn't anything more delicious than to be eight or 80. It doesn't matter what your age is. And to deliberately find a feeling and then notice the, the number of things in a day that come that represent that feeling. Good feeling or bad feeling? It is so wonderful to be consciously aware that this is coming because of this feeling. And then if you don't like what kind came, say, huh, I can't change that outcome. I can't move from 100,000 in debt to 100,000 in the black instantaneously, but I do have the ability to change the emotion. I do have the ability to start in a simple enough place that I can find an emotion that feels good and I do have the knowledge that law of attraction will add the momentum to that, you see. What we want to say to all of you as if you are eight, when something doesn't happen and you feel disappointment, something so much better is coming because now you have this impetus with you too. And if you don't get freaked out in this disappointment and hold it off, it'll come fast. How often has that happened to you where it looked like it wasn't working out and then something so much better worked out? And in retrospect, you say, oh yeah, I can see how that added to that, you see. And it's always that way. Do you believe us when we tell you that you create your own reality? And do you believe us when we say, because we said it today in a clearer way than we've ever said it before, that there is an environment surrounding you of focused, it's not nebulous, it's focused and specific well-being about you, focused toward you. Do you believe that? Oh, if we could just find a way of helping you to understand, to visualize, to see, to know this stream of well-being that's focused upon the brilliance and the beauty that is you. Focused on you all the time. Just looking for a crack of a little bit of resistance for the good to get in. But you're saying, oh, I wasn't born under the right star or my mother always liked her best or that teacher told me that I'd never amount to anything or the kids in school always bullied me or, 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 or I'm, I don't have as much money as I want or I'm misunderstood all the time. In other words, as you're beating the drums, as you're telling it the way you think that it is, then even though source never lets up, source never stops watching for the opportunity to help you know just a little more how worthy you are and help you know just a little more how brilliant you are never stops giving you through the path of least resistance the next great idea which sometimes you translate into something that you call inspiration never stopping never giving up never stopping do you understand that now do you understand it a little more are you more in a place that you're wanting to let more of that in Aren't you ready to say thanks, 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 thanks more of the time? Thanks, that was a really good idea. Thanks for being here with me. Thanks for knowing what I want. Thanks for understanding who I am. Talk about parental guidance. Your kids don't need you. They've got source. And most parents thwart the relationship between kids and source because they try to do what source does better and parents don't do it very well because they worry. You say. So... Do you know you create your own reality? Do you know that it's a vibrational universe? Do you know that things are always working out to you and the evidence of them working out for you is happening in this moment to the degree that you are soft and compliant and allowing it? And that you are the one that builds the shell around you and makes it a rougher ride than it needs to, but you could soften that shell and it would be a less rough ride. Do you get that? And that what is happening to you has nothing to do with anyone else on the planet except that you're reacting to the way they're reacting to you and messing up what you're doing with your vibrational reality. That with your vibrational environment. 
Esther's been trying to find the perfect word because she can feel us meaning it. So she wants to say it's a climate or it's an environment. It's a state of being. It's, it's the vibrational beingness that you want to work on. And if we were standing in your physical shoes, we would work on it in these ways. We would go to places that feel good as often as we could. And we would acknowledge that it feels good and we would try to identify what is it about this place that feels so good. In other words, we would not try to solve issues. And we would not get into debates with people who are trying to solve issues. And we would not talk about problems of others with them and we would not talk about our own problems with anyone else we would spend our time looking for that central place that feels good even if it's something as central and basic as the sun came up this morning and that helped me and the food keeps growing and that helps all of us and the world keeps turning because it is right that it does and babies keep being born because this is the leading edge of creation. And source keeps flowing because nothing other than that is natural. And well-being abounds no matter how hard you try to find dark corners of the world. They are small and puny in comparison with the brilliance and the beauty of the world. The well-being is dominant no matter what anybody is focused upon in the moment. That's just a fact of the way that it is. The well-being is dominant. And as you start focusing yourself in those ways, then the details, like our friend was saying, those winks from the universe, the details, the specific details, will begin flooding into your experience until you will not be thinking that what Abraham's trying to get you to do is just withdraw from life and find something simple to focus upon and live happily ever after in a sort of confined world. Instead, you will notice that you have a cadre, a group of non-physical intelligence who understands the specific and intimate details of your desire who is inspiring you to a path of least resistance not just for the outcome that you think you want but for the pleasure of the unfolding along the way and then you're going to start making these associations and then something's going to shift for you it's going to be like a fulcrum shift it's going to be like a paradigm shift and if it hasn't already happened for you which in many cases in this room it has it's about to and it will feel like this the details of your life will cause you to feel worthy because suddenly you'll be reacting to the core of what is good rather than to the anomaly that feels bad can you feel that shift we applaud you for your ability to listen with us because we said a lot of the same things over and over again and yet we said things to you all day long here today that no one on this planet has ever understood as clearly as you just did you are out here on the leading edge of thought and it's not the big deal all of you are making it out to be when you set aside proving any worthiness that takes away a lot of responsibility and you might as well give it up because there's nobody standing in council for that so no matter how hard you try to show your worthiness you're not getting any brownie points with anybody because there's not that kind of thing going on when you are trying to explain yourself when you're trying to explain how you got into this place that you really don't want to be you're practicing the wrong vibrational dynamic and you're just going to get more of that till after a while now that you've heard this conversation you will grow weary of that repetition and it is our expectation that you will begin to focus in the moment where all of your power is more deliberately upon things that you can do something about we would encourage you as soon as you can get off to yourself and get a piece of paper and something to write with in your hand that you would begin identifying for yourself what things you really like to do what feels good when you do it and what feels good when you think about it and let that be the thing that you focus upon 
for as long as it takes for the universe to deliver to you a whole bunch of stuff that's just like that because it is our promise to you if you will take the time to make that list the universe will deliver to you a whole bunch of stuff that's just like that list and through that experience not through the words that we've been offering here today but through the universal response to your focused understanding you will prove to yourself that you are the creator of your own reality and that life is supposed to be good for you not as supposed to be while it isn't supposed to be and is there is great love here for you and as always we stand unconditionally and eternally in the vortex